Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the love and support that you've been giving me and, you know, basically, you know, resonating with the video, seeing things within yourselves that you not, might not have been able to see. Um, and just being able to embrace those different changes in your life. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload her, ne her next video. And also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacts your life and hitting you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video gives you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some really dark times right now and need validation or you know, confirmation towards their life path, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites, wherever you see fit. Once again, thank you so much for the love and support. It is so greatly appreciated. Our family is growing, like, so fast. And I, I'm just so blessed to be able to have y'all all in my life, you know. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, this powerful meditation, as soon as I put it on, I was like, woo! You know, I felt... You know, you ever had a meditation that is so powerful and so intense, it gives you that chill running up your back. And you just, I just had to hold up. <laughs> and I started laughing. But anyways, if you start feeling any kind of tingling in, towards your hereabouts, it's uh, it's called six, six Chakra, Venus Third Eye, 10,000 Hertz, Full Restore, uh, 2,675 Hertz, Penal Gland Resonator. 432 hertz miracle tone that's some powerful stuff that's a whole lot of whole lot of okay but anyways the next video i'm going to do today is the current uh hey uh twin flame 101 jesus twin flame 101 hey Ocus, the current shifts that you are taking uh that are that are taken in your life you towards greatness yes the, the things that you're feeling right now we've been activated i've been telling y'all for a while we've been activated been going through trial and error trials and tribulations going through spiritual gifted boot camps you know they just really putting us through it but for us to be going through all these shifts you know there's lately i've been having my up down you know i've been having my good days and i also have my sad days you know there's days i'm very hyper and there's also days that you know i feel you know, drained, aggravated, you know, very moody, stuff like that. And that's around the time y'all do not see me. So, you know, but it's like, it's a blessing to be able to do these. You know, when I really sit back and, you know, evaluate everything that I'm going through, you know, even though as in my human form, I do get aggravated, you know, especially it's just like if you push so much positivity out, you're trying to work on yourself, help others see things in themselves that they weren't able to see before. You know, when you can actually have somebody in your life that's biased, that don't really know you and they're seeing things, you know, from an empath's point of view, because usually not a average people, but empaths that are spiritually gifted, a lot of times if you have that gift to be able to let people know, hey, this is, have you ever, you know, went through this, you know, have you seen a video on this? You might need to check and see if this is you or, you know, it, it's a blessing for me to be able to do that. It's like, I'm, I'm like a empath social worker being able to have a rolodex of all these different gifts like i love the fact that when i can be able to see the reason why i'm going through the things i'm going through because i can be able to help heal myself in different ways where i don't need a therapist i don't need a doctor popping me up with all these pills and you know all these different things like i tell people you know, if you need to go, you really feel like you need to go see a therapist, make sure it's like an empath therapist or somebody who's spiritually gifted. You know, like if you can find you a Ralph Smart around your area, then you're blessed. But if you try to find one of these average kooks, they'll be having your butt locked up so quick it'll make your dad on, you know, your great grandchildren ain't even thought about being here scared to death. You know, you can't be telling people <laughs> what you're going through and they're normal because they will lock you up quick. 
but it, it's just like you're going through all these different shifts and it i mean it might have you aggravated you're like why me why do i gotta go through this damn why do i feel like i'm never getting a break why do i even though i push positivity i ain't hateful towards nobody i still be getting that you know that issue stick throwing at me half of the time you have to go through these things because you are releasing a lot of stuff like i tell y'all you've been with me for a while i've been telling y'all you know these generational curses these karmatic cycles that's the reason why you catching so much hell because you are that one that's going to be cutting all this stuff like it ends and begins with you okay so you are going through the utmost hell like you can't even come up for a breather half of the time but when everything is all said and done when you see it it's going to really put you in a good place because even though right now you might be in this moment of time, you might be one day, you're like, you know what, I'm blessed and I'm going through this. This is like, and you're like, God, and the next minute, God. Jesus, take the wheel. Lord, can you take this off of me? <laughs> it's like, who did I piss off today for these things that happen to me? There, I mean, you're going to go through different days on that. You know, excuse me, because I hit my dad right around me. So I'm like, my bad, dad. You know, I ain't trying to cuss in front of you. But I'm just saying. You know, you really, there's days you really feel like that. You, I mean, there'll be days you're like skipping through the tulips like Tiny tiny, tiny Tim used to say, tiptoe through the tulips and all that little happy-go-lucky stuff. And then there'll be days you'll be ready to rip out your hair, you know. And it, it's just like we're going through these different things because, number one, God knows that we can be able to deal with it. Even though there's times you be mad and be trying to give the universe side eye, y'all know I be <laughs> Oh, you know, I be feeling that way sometimes. I know y'all see my eye go cross, but that's how I be looking sometimes. Like, you know what? I'm tired of going through this. I'm really tired of going through this. But then when I see how many people that I've been able to help understand the reason why we're going through these things, being able to see the strength and the power within you when you really don't feel it, you know, because if somebody discourages you a lot, that'll make you feel some type of way to where you might feel that. But you cannot allow people to validate what you are. You cannot do that because people will see stuff in you and they'll be scared of like, I've had a lot of people that acted a certain way towards me, you know, like they had to get attention, even though I'm not that type of person that wants attention like that. It's just, I'll be that, that type of person. I make people laugh. So, you know, I used to have attention when I didn't want that type of attention in my life, but I was that type of person. I was always the class clown. You know, if somebody tried to challenge me on saying certain things, I always had some, you know, I always had that last word and some people didn't like me for that. But there's a lot of people that even told me that I intimidate them because I've been through so much and I show so much strength through that. You would have never thought I went through the things I went through because just how way I carried myself. And I was just like, well, dang, if you've been fighting a whole war like I have been in my life, you would feel the same way too. You know, so it's just like you're going through all these series of events of misfortune feeling like you just been on hell on wheels but after all is said and done when you go through this it's going to elevate you in ways you never thought you were capable of getting because when you turn down turn around and look at all the issues you done been through for the last few weeks or few years or few months or whatever back to back to back and you really didn't feel like I was going to make it. You end up making it anyway because there's a lot of times we go through some really traumatizing things in our life they'll have us like you know what i really don't feel like i'm gonna make it through this god i just want you to take this pain away you know i don't understand why i gotta keep going through this and there'll be times you can look back and say you know what i don't even know why i was so frustrated over this this and this that. i mean there's times i look at my life and there are certain situations i was in i was like you really cried over that really <laughs> you know and then it's like it's all said and done but that gives you that strength it gives you that power that 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 flame that ignites in you that you never thought you had you know we have to go through many ups and downs for us to be able to see the power within ourselves being able you know I, when i feel y'all coming my way even when i'm doing my videos i feel your energy coming towards me as well you know before you even watch these videos there's that's why sometimes i feel get emotional like it feels like i'm in church and get that holy ghost or something i'm like y'all give me a minute Hold up, you know, because I feel that energy coming towards me, that y'all have this powerful energy. And there's a lot of times it's sad that you have been through so much trauma. It'll make you feel like I'm not strong enough for this or I, I you know, I didn't know I was capable. Of. And you are. You just have to be able to, you know, you need that person that's going to be positive towards you in your life to say, you know what? You have that power within yourself. 
if you can sit here and tell somebody what you've been through and you're still able to say what you've been through and you I mean you're not crying or whatever that like I tell y'all and I might say that a lot but a lot of times some people need to hear that over and over again that's strength for you to be able to say you know I did these things and I was wrong I'm trying to correct it that's strength because it's like when we have been dealing with narcissists narcissist people narcissistic people psychotic people sociopathic people those type of people don't ever admit when they're wrong they will always blame somebody else for their shortcomings they will always blame somebody else for the way they use their actions nobody cannot pull something towards you there can be like a, somebody narcissist that comes towards you and want to press your buttons it's up to you on how you gonna react to it you know there's sometimes you be ready to knock the head off peel the scalp back trust me i know but if you can allow somebody just like you know what they're showing their insecurities towards you don't take it personal even though they're bringing it towards you don't take it personal because that's something that they see within themselves where they have to keep on coming at you and i've been having that happen to me like almost every other day and i'm just like you know what their their horns are, are are coming towards me i feel it insecurities are spewing out of them because they will be working hard with them and it's just like they see something good within you you know you will catch it every day because when you pray for peace things come at you because they're getting worked on and they don't like that so they gotta pull them horns and sink their teeth into you don't allow that to puncture you in any kind of way peace be still <laughs> okay peace be still keep doing you okay because while you up here shining and grinding don't folks gonna be back in the back still trying to figure out how the heck did you make it out of this situation because i didn't you know i, I worked on them enough I thought they were going to stay down because I didn't want them to rise. <laughs> you about to get up out of this. Okay, you about to get up out of this. I'm telling you, I'm seeing so many of y'all energy. I'm like, whoo, I'm scared of you. You going to get up out of your situation. Trust and believe. You don't know how you going to make it out. I even feel that way about myself. There are so many people that be trying to plot my downfall. I ain't got time because I'm on a mission. Like I tell people a lot. It's not about me being on a, a, a all me, this is only me situation because I help out people where I need to help out people. But my, my problem is there's a lot of time I put so much energy in other people and when it com comes time for myself, I have nothing left. So it's just like, you know, I tell people, hey, I'm, you know, I'm not trying to be mean or anything. Don't take it personal. But right now I'm on a mission for myself right now. There's some things I need to work out on my, myself personally. You know, I'm going to work out on that first. But, you know, if I can help you along the way, hey, I ain't got no problem with that. I have no problem with that. But if, you know, people step over my boundaries, I block their butt so quick, it'll scare me half to death. Like, oh, damn. Well, I warned you. You know, I, I don't have time, especially if I set boundaries up for people. Don't come at me all different times of the night. You know, especially, you know, there's sometimes I don't have to say that. There's some people that are over in certain parts of the world where we're, we're in a big gap of different time. So I let that be excused because there's some a lot of people I deal with overseas. They're like eight, eight, nine hours difference. So I'm like, okay, it's excusable. So I can deal with that. But if you're in the same route, you in the U.S. and all that stuff, and you know there are certain people, and I'm like, okay, you know there are certain situations. But if you're doing it just to be doing that and say, oh, I forgot, oh, I'm okay, oh, okay, I'm gonna forget that I even deal with you either. So <laughs> I'm gonna just do me. But you know when I'm on a mission, I, I'm you know. I got that, them, them blinders up where I'm only seeing this way. I ain't got time to be looking all this way. And that's where you have to be on your, your mission towards yourself. Because especially if you're heading towards greatness, you got to you gotta cut, cut all that BS out, out of your life. You know, people that want to play games with you or pe people that, you know, want to be intimidated by, by you, what you got going on, cut that out. Because, you know, the shifts that are happening in your life is going to be your big glow up. So, like and subscribe. I hope you were able to resonate. Drop me a line and let me know how you feel about this. Do you been feeling those urges where you get excited and you're ready to jump for joy? Or you feel yourself having that little tickle in your life? You know, even on days that you don't feel like laughing, let me know. I'm not going to give all this, you know, hula hula, hula hoopla hoopla, that's what I meant to say, on my outro. Because this video is already too long as it is. So I will see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. Be wild.